Hi, this is Teresa Jackson. I've got a quick tutorial here today to show you how to create a custom cloud brush. And you're thinking, wait, that's a flower, that's not a cloud. Yes, I wanted to show you first just how easy it is to take whatever you have on your canvas and make a brush out of it. So I have this flower shape. I'm going to do a Command A or a Control A on a PC. That selects everything on the canvas. We see the marching ants going around the edge here. With the selection, I just go up to Edit and down here, Define pr Brush Preset. I can give it a name, so I'll call it Flower and say OK. And I'll do a Command D or a Control D on a PC to deselect and use the B on my keyboard, which will jump me to the brush tool. And you'll see the brush shape outlined. It automatically loaded with that flower shape that I defined. If I start to paint now, I'll paint pink flowers because my foreground color is defined as pink. I'm going to take my brush size down a little bit smaller and you'll see what happens when I make strokes with that. I get kind of a jaggy edge. So that's kind of cool. But let's show you how to do that, how to go through this same process and create a cloud brush. To create a cloud brush, you need to start with a cloud image. A cloud like this that's surrounded with a lot of blue sky works perfect. Often I'll just go around looking up in the sky for good clouds to photograph so that I can convert them to cloud brushes. The first thing that we need to do is take the color out of this image. I'm going to go up to Image, Adjustments, and I'm going to choose Black and White. The Black and White adjustment allows us to control the tones in this image based on the colors of the image and that's why black and white works so great. I'm going to scale down the um, cloud so we can see it a little bit better here next to my panel. Now we know that this area around the cloud was a blue color so if I take the blue slider and I move it down that will darken that. And this is what we want. We want to make all of this area around the cloud completely black. And that looks good, so I'll say OK. A brush is defined by the black areas, so we need the cloud to be black and the area around it to be white. The easiest way to do that is just do an inverse of the image or invert it. So I'll do a Command I or a Control I on a PC will invert and now we have what looks like a negative. The cloud's black and the area around it's white. I want to clean up the stuff around the edge so that my cloud floats in an area of white all the way around. So we'll just paint all this out with white. And it really doesn't matter. We'll just use a soft round brush like this to paint all of this out. And what's left behind in black is what's going to be the brush. Now I'm ready to define the brush. To define the brush again, I just do a Command A or a Control A and that selects everything on the canvas and then I say Edit, Define Brush Preset and this automatically filled the name in from the image that I created this from. So we'll just take the extension off, call it Cloud and say OK. And you'll see that my brush now becomes the shape of the cloud that we defined. Let's see how I might use this brush to paint with. I'm going to fill this canvas. Let's actually scale this up and, and fill the screen now. So I'm going to fill this canvas with a sky color. I just clicked on the foreground color picker and I'll just pick a nice blue. And if I say Edit Fill, I can choose the fill with foreground color and now we have a, a kind of a sky blue. I want to brush with a white color so I'll switch my colors here using the X on my keyboard and now my brush is filled with white and if I just stamp down I have a nice white cloud floating on that blue background. If I change the size of my brush I can paint different size clouds. Next time you see puffy clouds in the sky snap some photos and create your own set of custom cloud brushes for Photoshop.